Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Cushing, clinical audiologist and owner at Live Better Hearing. Today, I wanna to talk to you about newborn hearing testing. Sometimes they don't pass that first screening at the hospital, and that's when they'll come and visit me at the office. This is their follow-up test. The test is important because undetected hearing loss can lead to speech and language development problems. Sometimes the hospital or your doctor's office will refer you to the audiologist for the follow-up testing. That's when you'll schedule an appointment with us for your newborn to have their first hearing test. Typically, this test is done in the very first month that the baby is born. That way, the baby can sleep during the appointment. It's a really safe and easy test for the baby. The test is looking at how they hear all the way from the outer ear all the way up to the brain, so we know that there's no blockage in the pathway of sound. This is typically done in both ears. The test results are known right away. So right after the test, we provide those results to you so you don't have to wait for them. And then we share the results with your primary care doctor and the state of Maryland or wherever the, the baby was born. If a follow-up test is needed, we'll have the baby come back to complete the testing another day. Sometimes this happens if the baby wakes up or it's just they're not having a great day and they don't wanna have the test done that day. The best way to prepare for this newborn infant hearing test is to bring the baby tired. We want them sleeping so that there's no noise during the test. So make sure that you bring the baby well fed or just come a little bit early and you can feed the baby here before the test. For more information on newborn hearing testing, visit our website at www.livebetterhearing.com.